In this particular program demonstration live, which is on the code blocks IDE, I am going to show you how to calculate the area of a triangle using Heron's formula without doing any validation or without doing any checks. What I mean by that is, I am assuming the user is going to enter valid values of the three sides of a triangle. Later on when I am going to do the decision making statements, I will ensure or I will verify whether the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side so that the input is a valid triangle. So as usual, I am going to create on, I am going to click on create new project. So it's going to open up this screen. I'm going to click on console application. Click on go. Click on C because that's the language I'm teaching you. Next, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say area underscore TR and that means it's for area of a triangle. Click on next. Don't touch this screen. Just click on the finish. You're going to get this particular side on your left side. So click on the plus, double click on the main. You're not going to use this particular hello world, so just get rid of it. So area of a triangle using Huron's formula requires three sides. Let's call those three sides as A, B and C. So I'll give the names as A, B and C. I'm assuming those three sides can be real numbers like 10.5 and so on. Then area also I'm going to assume it's going to be a real number. So I'm going to say area is a real number. And then I need the half perimeter. So I'm going to say half perimeter as S. Just see, I have not initialized or given any initial values to any of these particular variables because I'm going to read A, B and C. I'm going to calculate S and then I'm going to calculate the area. So in order to read or calculate the area of a triangle using Heron's formula, I'm going to ask the user, enter the value of three sides all right three sides of a triangle so i'm not going to be very detailed i'm just saying enter the value of three sides then i'm saying scan f then what i'm doing here is i'm going to say percentage f percentage f percentage f please do not give any space between percentage and f or between the double quote and thing it's going to cause you a lot of grief so i'm going to say address of a comma address of b comma address of c so these are my three variables you can give as much space after the address of a and comma this helps it clearly show that there are three variables so use spaces for proper indentation the next step what i'm going to do is i am required to calculate the value of s so be sure we don't make the mistake of not putting it in bracket so i say it's a plus b plus c okay and this is divided by 2.0 although I can just say 2 because the numerator all happens to be floating point numbers so automatically 2 will become 2.0 so I have calculated the half perimeter now area is calculated by the formula okay it is square root now I am going to use a built-in library function provided by the C library square root Declaration does not exist in stdio.h nor does it exist in stdlib.h. It exists in a library called as math.h. So I need to include this math.h here. So I'm including math.h. Once I include this math.h, I'm fine to go ahead and use the square root. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say area is square root. It is yes into yes minus a into Again, S yes minus B, all right? And then I'm going to say into S yes minus C, all right? So here, if you see, this is the calculation for the, or the formula for calculating the square root. So it is S yes into S yes minus A into S yes minus B into S yes minus C. So it's again a good habit to give spaces so that your code is readable and clear and it, it is easy to understand by just looking at it. So if you have to write too many comments, be sure you have written a very bad code. Good comment requires very little or almost zero comments except at the top of functions to tell you what exactly it's trying to do. So here I have calculated area as a square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Now I can simply print the area accurate up to two decimal places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say percentage 6.2F, okay? okay is the 
area of the tri and gle all right and here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say area all right 6.2f is the area of a triangle now, i'm not sure this program is going to run because there may be errors in what i have typed something when i type i almost think there are no errors but in real life errors are part of coding so if you get errors let's not worry we will try to debug or remove the errors so you should not be scared of errors errors is pretty normal or compile time errors is pretty normal to get so let's click on build so it's it's saying something now it is saying s is not a function or a function pointer see what i have done on 14 is i have forgotten to put the assignment statement so i put the assignment here so you should always go to the line number and the line number usually will give you the hint where the error is sometimes the error can be one line up or it can be one line below or something two three lines up so just look around that place you will usually get the error almost 99 percent of the time the error message is very clear sometimes the error message is not clear like in the last example where i removed a semicolon and the error message was very confusing so now it says one error was there we took out the error let's try to recompile it let's see if our luck runs well now now it says zero errors zero warning so the build is fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the shortcut key which is the f9 which is going to do a build and run so once i do the f9 key i have got this particular screen here okay it's asking me enter the value of three sides of a triangle so let me enter three sides here i should be sure that i enter three correct values because i am assuming the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side so let's say it's three it's five okay and let the next side just be six so here if you see five plus three is greater than six six plus five is greater than three and five plus three is greater than six or in any way you look at it it is greater than the third side now if you click on this it will say 7.48 is the area of this particular triangle you can take your calculator go ahead and verify it so this was a simple problem to show you how to calculate the area of a triangle using heron's formula let me try to show you a few other things by trying to introduce certain errors in this particular program now what i can do is let me try to give you an value of abc which does not form a valid triangle let's see what happens okay you should always be curious to play around and run and do it because that's how you're going to learn so i'm going to run let's say now three four and uh yeah let's say three four and three so is this a valid triangle yeah it seems to be four plus three seven is greater than that four plus three seven so let's try to make it an invalid triangle let's try to make this 9 now it's a not a valid triangle because 4 plus 3 is not greater than 9 see what happens now you got minus 1 is the area of the triangle the message is square root cannot calculate for a negative number because it's an invalid triangle so when that square root was tried to be calculated since the values were not of a valid triangle you were getting a negative value and you were getting an error so just be aware of things like this play around with different things and then that's how you will develop confidence and be able to comfortably run this particular code just be sure to save your project only in the initial stages i'll be showing you one on code blocks and odd one on the ide online compiler because i believe almost 70 percent are going to use the online compiler i may do more programs on online ide compiler sorry on the online gdb compiler which runs on the cloud but some i may still show you on code blocks so just be comfortable with both both are really easy and simple and there are plenty of tutorials available on the web how to run how to save how to compile and how to do all the basic operations of using an integrated development environment at this stage other than this particular build which is build compile current file run build and run or rebuild you don't need any of these other buttons to worry at this point of time other than to save it you can click on file save as a file and so on so just don't go overboard and try to think you can learn everything in one day step by step we are going to go into it for example photon is not even useful for us we are going to learn how to do debugging so at a little later stage once we are comfortable writing a few basic programs